Welcome to Edbook News. I'm your host, Boepolo. Welcome, Mokwena. And today, we are out here at Northwest University, Mafiken campus, of which we are celebrating the National Science Week. Join us as I interview great minds who have come together to showcase their talents and abilities of how they came about to applying their minds through science. Thank you. Bookworms! Once again, we are here at the Northwest University in Mafikeng, and I'm here with Mr. Chris. Ah, oh, fantastic car, fantastic car. Tell me more about this car. What you see is a Birkin S3. It was built by grade 10s and 11s at uh, 11 schools in the Northern Cape, so we have 11 cars. All we did was we gave them the parts, some of it they had to get themselves. We gave them exactly six months to pull it together. The funding came from the Northern Cape Department of Education. They put it together, and six months down the line, all we wanted to do was come, turn the key, start it up. It doesn't start, you go back to the drawing board. And as you can see, the spray painting, all of it, what we wanted to teach kids was science in action. And if grade 10s and 11s can build this, sure, the sky's the limit. Most certainly, most certainly at Bookworms. Now, as I always preach, and you heard it yourself, learning, learning is fun to mental. And keep learning, and you yourself can build something like this. And va va voom, I think, it, can we take it for a spin? Well, as I say, learning is fun to mental. Let's take it. was awesome at bookworms if you are not convinced come on guys science is fun 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 mr chris thank you very much for the ride it's been exhilarating at bookworms stay tuned on edbook tv we're still here at northwest university at the launch of yes our national science week we go we are here still at northwest university mafigan campus you are hi my name is palisa mahila and yeah Okay, tell us, out of all the outcome here today, what did you learn from it? Um, um, one line that I heard was that science is not magic, and I learned a lot that when you do mathematics and physical science, you are more open to more career opportunities. So it was really interesting, and, and I enjoyed it a lot. Thank you, it was very interesting indeed. And when are you going My name is Anita Daniel. Okay, so Loena, tell me, out of all the outcome here, what did you learn? One thing that I've learned from Ms. Naledi is that no matter where your beginning starts, you can only determine your ending. So if, we are, if you're interested in science, you are exposed to a vast of, of um, opportunities. So we should use this opportunity to change the 22nd generation. Ah, thank you. You sound so confident in you too and looking very beautiful indeed. My guy, I'm Wipilo. Welcome. Now tell me, out of the whole outcome of today, what did you learn the most? Oh, uh, I learned that there's more to science, eh? You can actually be whatever that you want to be in life. You can succeed in anything. <laughs> so in regards to you saying you can be whatever you want to be, what do you want to be? I want to be a structural, structural engineer. And you think science is going to help you achieve that goal? Yes, I do. Ah, nice, nice. You see, tall people with big dreams <laughs> goes hand in hand. What's your name, by the way? My name is Katla Um I'm Ashna Ashraf. I learned a lot about science, and I learned more about a career that I really want to um, do in the future. You were expecting something with the white jacket, right? Let us. Um, you were not expecting something with the snap back. Um, and definitely, you were expecting somebody with these type of classes, right? Unfortunately, that's not how science is these days. Um, the type of science that they're doing is science is fun, therefore we're going to do it in a fun way. And I would like to have more out of this one. 
Okay. 